you're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and it feels so great to be back guys. I was so sick. I had the flu, my throat was killing me and I even had like a really bad infection in my throat. I couldn't even uh, talk or even swallow so I was just taking rests, obviously, just, you know, don't really, uh, not really YouTubing, you know, last week, well, this week, uh, because, like I said, guys, I was really on the painkillers and the medicine, just tried to get this infection away, because I only l uploaded, like, two videos in the last week, instead of five or seven, but I, in this video, guys, I'm totally back, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to, you know, the best render settings for Vegas 15, so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already, and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now guys, we are in Vegas 15 and I'm going to show you guys the best render settings obviously because you guys have seen it on the title and the thumbnail. So if you guys are new to Vegas 15, I have a full walkthrough in, you know, of the entire program in the description. You can find the link there and you can just go ahead and check it out and then come back to this video. So right now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in uh, an image that is going to be, you know, I'm going to pretend that I finished editing a project. We're going to click on this little icon above the preview screen. And right here, we're going to uh, choose our formats and our uh, all the different settings. I'm going to uh, run through all the settings you need to know in this video. So right now, what we're going to do, we're going to start off. If you don't have any presets yet, I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to pick on 720p. Uh, 30 FPS, which is going to be this one. So I'm going to click on there. Right here, you can choose uh, all kinds of settings. So right here, it says width and the height, 1280 by 720. That's correct. But let's say that you want to render out your video on 30 FPS. What you're going to do is you go to the frame ratio. We're going to fill in 30. That's going to make it a render out in 30 FPS. But let's say in most cases, gaming videos and stuff, uh, we're going to just want to fill in 60. So that's really simple. And what we're going to do then is we're going to go to full resolution rendering quality. We're going to put that one to best. The motion blur type is Gaussian. The deinterlaced mode is blend fields. And the resample mode, guys, is going to be disabled. So now that we have, you know, run through the settings of this, it's time to render. But let's say that you want to fill in or when you want, you want to render it in 1080p. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go back to the drop down menu and we are going to pick 1080p, 24p. And it works the same, guys. We go to frame ratio, fill in 30. You can even fill in 50. I'm just gonna fill in 60 and then the settings will be the same and right here You can just click on all start all new project with these settings so We're gonna click on apply and is that straightforward? So now that we have all those settings ready I'm going to click on okay And then what you, what you want to do is you want to select your entire project go to file render as and right here, you want to choose your formats and your uh, all your details. So right here, you can choose uh, a lot of different formats. But what I would recommend for YouTube and everything, make sure to just pick Sony AVC MVC. So now that we have picked, so now that we have picked that one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick Internet 1920 by 1080 30p, and we're going to click on Customize Template. So now that we have done that, what we're going to do is we're going to go... The only thing we need to change is the frame rate right here. It's going to be 60, obviously. Uh, it works the same for 720p. It's just going to say uh, 7, 1280 by 720. So not really that much difference. And then just leave all the settings how they are right here. Then we're going to go to system. Just keep, you know, it's not even clickable. So we're going to go back to uh, video. Make sure that all our settings are verified and correct. The last thing that we want to do, guys, is go to project. And you want to go to video rendering quality. And you want to put that one to best. Now, you can also choose uh, a name for this preset. So I just called this one uh, 60, uh, 60 FPS YouTube. You just want to click on this little diskette icon that will save your presets so you don't have to do all the settings over and over again as you edit. So I'm going to click on this little icon, click on OK right here, and then, you know, our 60 FPS YouTube appears in the list. The only thing you want to do is you can choose your location, click on Browse. Uh, you just want to pick this one. I'm just going to call this Test Video because this is just going to be a test. And then you can only, the only thing you need to do is you want to just press on Render. And as you can see right here, the video is exporting and that is how it's simple it is guys that's the those are the best render setting for youtube 720p 1080p 60 fps all the you know the whole nine yards everything is included in this video so that's it for the video i want to thank guys for watching thank you guys for the continued support and i'll catch you guys tomorrow for a brand new video about how to get vegas 15 so if you guys are stoked for that make sure to smash the like button down below i would say that's it for the video guys thank you for watching
watching and as you can see the video just finished rendering and obviously it's going to be 1080p, 1080p 60 fps i'm so glad to be back and you know every single day from sunday today until sunday september 10th i will be posting one vegas tutorial every single day this is going to be the vegas 15 week so make sure to also subscribe down below for more videos so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow Ah, all the videos are done for today, so let's watch some Netflix. Alright folks, as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 15 and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I created the intro. Now, I'm not gonna show you guys how to edit like, you know, switching from the screen to myself on the couch and, you know, showing, you know, the Netflix stuff. I'm only gonna show you guys how to create this awesome slow motion, uh, sad, uh, you know, effect in Vegas 15. So I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now, this is just a clip of me sitting in front of a couch. This is just doing everything in one take, as you can see, because right here I'm just walking away as you can see right here boom because I'm done so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go away until where I'm doing this face palm because for the people who don't have thought about the intro the intro is basically me uh, being done with videos for today and I want to relax watching Netflix and then all of a sudden the Netflix series I wanted to watch is removed out of the Netflix library that's basically the whole idea behind the intro so I'm just as you can see right now I'm just going to uh, do a face palm right here because I'm figuring out the series is gone this is just I just made that up real quick and right here, as you can see, I'm just going to face palm. And right here, you want to cut it. You want to add some effects. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in some color correction, as you guys saw in the intro as well. So we're going to click on this little FX icon, the FX icon. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick this one, the turquoise glare with letterbox. I'm going to just click on it, click on add, click on OK. And those are all presets that, that, you know, that don't come with Vegas. If you want to see a video, how to add in color correction preset packs, make sure to check out the description. You can find the link there and then you can just go ahead and do that the next thing that we're gonna do is as you can see this is basically the uh, effect but the, those black bars are covering up my head so I'm gonna just uncheck the good cutter and as you can see boom there we have the effect you, that I used in the intro now the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna two, we're gonna do two more things which is going to uh, make this slow motion and add in that you know that violin the sad violin effect which also will be available to download in the description so right here I'm gonna play back the video and right here when I'm doing the face palm right here this one i'm just gonna put the quality a little bit less right here as you can see i'm just face palming right here i'm gonna kind of cut then i'm gonna just shorten the clip real quick until i'm sitting right there then what you want to do to make it slow motion is hold your left control go stand on the outside of the clip and drag this guy right here you will see those crooked lines starting to appear and that means that the video is slow motion as you can see so i'm face palming boom and this is just basically um, me face palming in slow motion, but we're gonna do then is we're gonna just make this also black and white So we're gonna go to video effects click on black and white this one drag it on top of the clip And as you guys can see right now the clip is turning black and white right here Boom as you can see that looks really cool And we're gonna also zoom in a little bit and and, and then add in the violin effect So we're gonna click on this little icon that says event pan crop We're gonna place a keyframe at the very end of the clip and then just drag this clip bigger and bigger and zoom it in on myself as you can see it's that straightforward so i play back the video as you guys can see right now this is just me zooming in slowly with face palming in slow motion with black and white effect so the only thing we need to do is drag in that sad violin effect i'll play back i'll play back right now if you guys don't know what i'm talking about
you know, that effect. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm going to go to the folder where I downloaded this effect from YouTube and let me drag in that sound effect real quick. All right, folks, as you can see, this is the sound effect I'm gonna put on my headset because I need to hear it my myself as well. So let's play back and let's see what it sounds like. So that's basically the sound effect that we're gonna put underneath me and you know uh, on, the, on this little part so I'm gonna drag that below the clip and if I play back the video this is what it looks like. So that's how simple it is guys, this is how you create the sound effect, it's really simple, so that's how to do it, this is how to add in color correction, make it slow motion, make it zoom, how to add in the color effect, and how to drag in that sound effect of the sad violin, as you can see right now, the, the MLG sound effect, that's how easy it is, so I want to thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for the continued support, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial, as always, every single day, from Monday, uh, uh, September 4th all the way until September 10th this Sunday I will be having an entire week of Vegas tutorials so that's it thank you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow what's up guys my name is Alex welcome to a brand new video and do you guys see this 50 euro bill watch this that's pretty cool right let's make some more money just copy and paste this What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and as you guys can see right now I just returned from the ATM because I had to I had to withdraw about a hundred euros you know in order to make this video so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I created that intro so I would say let's get started and let's go to Vase Pro 15 as you guys can see right now, we are in Vegas 15 and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I created the intro because this is something I've never done before, you know, like showing you guys something like this, you know, like copying, pasting money. It was a really fun thing to do and I would say let's get started. Make sure to also smash the subscribe button and the like button down below for more videos and let's start off with today's video. Now, as you guys can see right now, this is just me sitting in front of my laptop and basically what I did is I went to the local ATM and I got two bills of 50 euros. I started off with a, a Word document with uh, zero bills. What I did then is I placed this one into the actual Word file and then the Word file had one 50 euro bill. I just downloaded one from Google. Then I just copy and pasted that bill and then I just took it from the screen, both bills, and then it looked like I copy and paste money. It is that simple. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. So I would say let's get started. So the first thing that you need is you need obviously a computer screen, you need a empty Word document, you need you need three documents basically, three Word documents. One has to be empty, one has to uh, include two bills of whatever currency uh, that, that well it has to be the same currency that you have in your hand obviously so one empty word uh, document a uh, word document with two bills and then one final document with only one bill at the bottom so then you can basically copy and paste it and take them off the screen so as you guys can see right now this is basically the clip that I use as you can see I'll just uh, put on my headset because there's audio and let's hear what it sounds like What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome to a brand new video, and do you guys see this 50 euro bill? Watch this. And as you can see right here, right right here when I, you know, put my hand on the screen, uh, I'm just gonna press S, and what you want to do, first of all, is you just want to, as you can see right now, I'm, uh, you know, uh, replacing the Word document with my left hand, obviously, so I will choose a document where it is on the screen, so I'm going to just cut where I'm putting it right on the screen, right here, like so. Like this, my hand is on the screen. Then I'm gonna press S and I'm going to cut where the bill is on the screen. 
like this. So I'm gonna cut it right here, and this is how it looks. What's up guys, my name is Alex. Welcome to a brand new video. And do you guys see this 50 euro bill? Watch this. So that looks pretty legit, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in that fine, uh, uh, those two green bars, that overlay. So we're gonna just go to my images and drag in that image real quick. So as you can see, this looks like a really, uh, like a real vine. So as you can see right now, I'm just uh, putting it on the screen. But right here, when I uh, put this on the screen, I'm gonna just cut it, and I'm going to go ahead and you know uh, slide this one a little bit to the left. So it looks like the screen of the, my uh, laptop is in the frame, and I'm just saying, I'm just saying, copy and paste this, like this. Let's place it also a little bit to the left, like so. That looks pretty accurate. So it looks like I'm copying the money right here. Boom, like that. So I have two bills and what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna go ahead and cut where I'm taking the bill of the actual uh, screen. So I'm doing it like this, as you can see. So I'm cutting it right here, slide it a little bit to the left. This. So this is what it looks like when I'm taking off the bill of the screen. And anytime I'm taking off a uh, bill, I'm replacing the document where the bill is removed. So let's say that I have two bills on the screen. What I'm doing then is I'm just grabbing the first bill, move to the uh, WordPad file with only the bill at the bottom. So when I take it off the screen, there's no bill at the top because it looks like I took it off. Then for the second one, what I do is I just grab it on the screen. I replace the WordPad with the Word file with no bills at all. I'm taking it off and it looks like I'm taking money off the screen. So that's how amazing it looks, guys. This is how, That's how simple how to do it. And this is obviously possible with more, multiple bills, as you can see. So that's how to do it, guys. I'll show you guys the end result right now. What's up, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome to a brand new video. And do you guys see this 50 euro bill? Watch this. That's pretty cool, right? Let's make some more money. Just copy and paste this. And obviously you guys see some color correction. What I do then is I just go to the effects tab and right here, those are all kinds of custom uh, uh, effects. So let's say that we're gonna pick turquoise letterbox, different from the intro. That's what we're gonna do basically then is I'm going to you know remove the cookie cutter and this is how amazing it looks, guys. This is how you make money, uh, well, how to copy and paste it in Vegas 15. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.